Friday the 6th. And yes, I am in a sweater. It's been over a, almost 100 for the last couple days. We've been in the middle of a heat wave. Here it is on Friday, like 71 degrees, breezy, and I'm freezing. So, but I wanted to sit outside and enjoy at least, at least a little bit of the cool off. But as the breeze blew, I was like, blew. I was like, I got to go in and get me a sweater. <laughs> so I am fi filming this for next Monday's Keto Moments since I'm going to be on vacation. And what I wanted to talk about today was chasing ketones. I've had a lot of people ask me here lately in my personal life and in the comment sections of a few of my videos if I use a blood tester or if I use ketone strips and I have never used a glucose tester other than for testing my blood sugars but to test for ketones like keto, keto, keto mojo is that how it said keto mojo whatever or present Precision Ultra. I've never used one of those. Um, I have used the ketone strips. Um, when I first started, I had eaten something and I didn't feel too well. And my nephew was here and he carries them with him daily because he's a severe diabetic. So I used one to see if I was still in ketosis. And then for my birthday, my sister got me a pack. So every now and then I just use it just to see where I'm at. But at this point, I know they're not reliable. Now, I've always had them. Every time I have ever used one, it's shown ketones. But I know that if it ever come up negative, that would not mean that I wasn't in ketosis. So using them is just, to me, a waste of money. Plus, the way our metabolic processes work is... We're using ketones constantly, so we're making and using and making and using. So just because you don't have any in your blood doesn't mean that you're not making ketones. It doesn't mean that you're not in ketosis. It just means your body's efficiently using them. And each time you eat, that's a medic, metabolic process. So your body revs up calorie, uh, to burn calories because to digest the food, it's not in a rested state at that point in time. It is actively working so it is using energy therefore it is using the ketones that you have produced so you it could show that you're not in ketosis when you very well could be in ketosis you're just actively using the ketones that you have so chasing ketones is almost a waste of money in my opinion it is a waste of money and those strips uh, the for the blood strips are expensive from what I understand now I personally have never bought them but the cheapest you can get away with paying is a dollar a strip to test something that even with blood is not a reliable stance on how you are doing on your ketogenic journey it's just testing how many ketones is in the blood so are you going to be disappointed if you get a point four when I guess 0.5 through 1.5 is nutritional ketosis. Say you get a 0.4, but you just ate like shortly, or you just did some physical activity where your body burned up a lot of ketones. So your, your ketones dropped because you were physically active and your body was using them. Are, how much are you going to let that affect your behavior in your journey to see a low number or to use a urine strip and see a negative. My advice to everybody is just trust the process. Keep those carbs low enough that you dip into ketosis and once you're there, stay there. Don't overeat the carbs. And if you felt like you ate too many that, oh, I just wonder I wanna test. Like I said, I had done that once before. I got, I felt poorly because here I'd gotten some cornstarch. Now it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to do anything. I was still in ketosis. Um, but let's say that I, I read that and it would have said negative. How would I have let that affect me back then? I mean, because we're looking at um, six months ago, my mentality was slightly different then. Would I have let, the, uh, let that incident derail me? 
Would I have let that incident become a failure in my mind? I don't know. And I would like to say, no, I'd have just kept right on playing. But back then, I was so obsessed with what the scale was saying to me. I hadn't right, quite got that mentality of, wait a minute, the scale's a liar, and we want those little bitty ups. We don't mind those because of what it's indicating to us. So even though I have those strips, to be 100% honest, most likely, they are going to go bad before I ever get a chance to use them. Because once you open them, there's a window of opportunity. But I just don't feel the need to use those strips. I don't feel the need to go out and get a monitor to see where my blood ketone is at. Because I know I am following the protocol and I don't ever plan on breaking that. I will never, ever have more than 50 total carbs in a day. And I try to keep my total in and around 20. Now, I'm not saying that I haven't gone over because I have. Um, I'm sure within the last month, I had a day where I was 27 total, uh, or tw yeah, 27 total and something like 21 net. So I'm not going to say that I am not ever going to go above that threshold of 20, but it, it really doesn't matter to me because I have tested myself at 47 total carbs and was still in ketosis. So I know that my threshold is probably the standard 50. Um, so most people can eat 50 total carbs and stay in ketosis. But they say just to be on the safe side, keep your carbohydrates at around 20 for an older metabolism around 20 total. But for the average person, 50 total, 20 net is where you want to be at. Because the other 30, 28, people are supposed to get in according to daily recommendations, 28 grams of fiber. So when you're talking about 50 total carbohydrates, the 28 of those are supposed to be your fiber source, which we subtract anyway, that would put you at 22 or below net carbs. So that's how that's supposed to work. Um, it's not supposed to be 50 total carbs and only four to six of those being from fiber. Because if that's the case, then you're getting your carbohydrates from what would be considered the wrong source. It wouldn't be healthy carbohydrates. So that that's how that's supposed to go <laughs> from what I understand and from my personal belief. I'm so sorry about that. I got a phone call. <laughs> but anyway, what I was, my whole point of the video is don't chase ketones. Trust the process. Don't waste your money on keto strips or keto meters, that kind of stuff. If you're keeping those carbs low enough and you're losing weight and you feel fantastic, go with it. Keep moving along. You're doing fantastic. And then another thing that I wanted to talk about was taking ketones, drinking ketones. Okay, that in my opinion, unless you're using it for medical purposes, should never be part of your ketogenic lifestyle. There are medical purposes for taking ketones, but if you're doing it as part of your weight loss journey, you're hindering yourself, in my honest opinion, because your body takes the fat, turns it into ketones to use as energy. If you are supplying ketones through an alternate source, you're drinking them, powders, those kind of things, yes, you're getting a boost of energy. Yes, you might feel fantastic, but it's defeating the purpose because then if your body has them readily available, you're taking them in and they're immediately going into your bloodstream, it has no reason to break down your fat for ketones because you're already giving it, supplying ketones. So, 
you could be breaking down your own fat and making ketones and using your own and losing weight. Or if you supply ketones, sorry, Ella, if you're supplying ketones, your body has no reason to break down your fat and make its own. So you're actually hindering your own weight loss, even though you feel fantastic. Now, I'm not saying that it doesn't give you a burst of energy. You can go out, maybe become active and burn calories all on your own. Actually, then get yourself into producing your own ketones because you've burned up what you had and your, then your body's making more. But once you start burning your own ketones, making your own ketones, burning those, you're still going to get that energy boost. Give it time. Give your body time to start doing its job. Trust the process. And I guess you're going to hear me say that again all the time. If you're following protocol, you're going to get there. <laughs> so anyway, guys, you have a great day. And I will talk to you all when I get back from vacation. Blessings. Thank mm -hmm. you.